let's talk about the values of some of these deals during COVID and then after COVID. Um, and, and I'm not sure which fund exactly, but <clears throat> this happens in, even in syndications where you're, you're doing a value add project. And as your income is much less because you don't have as much um, occupancy because uh, you're fixing them up, uh, the, the values of the properties actually go down during the investment. And then in, in later years, as you start increasing uh, the occupancy level and the income on them, then those values go back up again. So uh, the writing down and the writing back up again of an asset is, is pretty normal anyway, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So that's a great point. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of quick comments. So the beauty about of a closed-ended fund, we don't really care about um, write, write, write-ups and write-downs. We don't have to do quarterly mark-to-market. In an open-ended fund, we do that. So for Tempo Opportunity Fund, this matters. For Tempo Growth, it doesn't. Um, but uh, from, from the valuation perspective, you're absolutely right. If you have a functional hotel and then you stop operating it, the value has dropped, and then you convert it, restabilized, then the value has gone up. <coughs> Pardon me. So um, what you just, what we just observe, what we call that the returns in these value add projects follow what is known as the J curve. Imagine letter J. So uh, in the beginning, the value of your investment drops like, like a letter J, literally just, just draw letter J. And then uh, as you, execute the, the value as strategy, the returns start picking up, the value investors picks up quite a bit on the back end. This uh, J curve um, is an incredibly powerful strategy because you can, without giving any investment advice, not a CPA, don't play one on TV, informational purposes only, usual disclaimer. You can invest the traditional IRA money into a growth fund like Temple Growth Fund or a growth uh, value at a uh, single, single deal. And then convert it at the bottom of the J curve when the hotel stop operating, and now is this functional hotel being converted to multifamily, and converted at a valuation substantially lower than what you put in the cash. It's a pretty powerful idea. Uh, just, just I, I'm, I'm a little bit tangenting from this, but you, you started on this point. I wanted sure. to share this, this, this idea. So if it makes sense for people, you can, you know, write a hundred K check. Uh, in the middle of the value add, it's worth you know, 70,000 bucks, you convert, you pay less taxes in the conversion value. But that's the kind of uh, concept here. For an open-ended fund, now I'm going to use another example for Tempo Opportunity Fund. We invested in May 2019 in a hotel conversion in Ogden, Utah. Now, this was not one of these resident sins nor Ramadas. This was a boutique hotel, kind of a high riser. This was a pre-COVID outburn, and it was being converted to uh, apartments as well. Uh, what's really fascinating on that project was that it gave us a lot of passive losses and we had to basically mark down the value of the investment on the books of the fund uh, while it was being converted. Now, the project just sold, well, not just, but it sold in February of 2021, this year. And it sold at a phenomenal price. Essentially, uh, we generated 2.2 times return on the money in 21 wow. months. Wow. Yeah, it, it was, it sold, like you, you asked me the question, what has happened with all these values? And the values shoot up. The pro forma projection on that sale was 18.8 .8 million. It sold for over 20, 20 and a half. So when you have leverage deal and these, these properties come out of the COVID and they come out strong and they sell above the target price, it magnifies rate of return quite a bit. So we saw that. So that project, we, we just finished Q1 again, full disclaimer. <laughs> we, we're about to, 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 to finish the results, and the Q1 has a monstrous results, much, much stronger uh, than our typical quarter because that asset sold at a rate of return far above the, the projected number. So we, we, we're having massive distributions in Q1 as a result of this. So when they happen, these projects, they pop. When they pop, the returns shoot through the roof, and that's, that's what happens uh, on these projects. You have to be patient and deal with a markdown until it's going to the project. But when it exits and it exits well, it becomes a home run. 